Picture yourself standing at the edge of history's greatest moment, a precipice so monumental it rivals the emergence of life itself. Sounds dramatic? It should. We're approaching a transformation that could redefine everything we know about intelligence, consciousness, and our place in the universe. The Time Traveler's Tale. Let's play a thought experiment. Grab someone from 1750 and bring them to our world. Show them your pocket-sized device that can access the sum of human knowledge, video chat with someone on the other side of the planet, and navigate any city with pinpoint accuracy. Watch as they try to comprehend airplanes cutting through the sky or the concept of space stations orbiting above us. They might actually die from shock. But here's where it gets interesting. If our 1750 friend tried the same experiment by grabbing someone from 1500, the reaction would be far less dramatic. The gap between 1500 and 1750 pales in comparison to the chasm between 1750 and today. This isn't just coincidence, it's the law of accelerating returns in action. The more advanced a civilization becomes, the faster it can progress. Think that's mind-bending? Hold on to your hat, because we're about to enter an era where these changes won't take centuries or even decades. They might happen in years, months, or even minutes. The Three Faces of AI when we talk about artificial intelligence, we're really discussing three distinct levels. One, artificial narrow intelligence, ANI, the savant of the AI world. One, brilliant at one specific task, utterly clueless at everything else. One, this is what we have today. AI that can crush world champions at chess but can't tell a hot dog from a shoe. Two, artificial general intelligence, AGI, the human equivalent. Two, an AI that can match our general problem-solving abilities across any domain. Two, this is the holy grail we're racing toward. Three, artificial superintelligence, ASI, the game changer. Three, an intellect that surpasses human cognitive ability not by a little, but by orders of magnitude. Three, imagine an entity that is to us what we are to ants, except potentially far more dramatic. The paradox of progress. Here's something deliciously ironic. The tasks we find hardest for AI to master are often the ones we consider simplest. A computer can calculate complex mathematical equations in microseconds, but it struggles to recognize a dog in a photo or understand a children's story. Why? Because evolution spent millions of years optimizing our brains for these simple tasks, while abstract mathematics is a recent human invention. This leads us to the grand challenge, how do we create AGI? Three main approaches are being pursued. One, the copy-paste method. Reverse engineer the human brain and replicate it digitally. One, we're already making progress. We've successfully mapped a flatworm's 302 neurons. One, only 100 billion more to go for a human brain. Two, the evolution speed run. Use genetic algorithms to simulate millions of years of evolution in a compressed time frame. Two, Nature took its sweet time. We're trying to hack the process. Three, the bootstrap approach. Create an AI that can improve itself, starting a cascade of ever-increasing intelligence. Three, imagine teaching a student who gets exponentially smarter with each lesson. The final countdown. Here's where things get truly wild. Once we achieve AGI, we might have only moments before it catapults itself to superintelligent levels. Think of it this way. On the spectrum of intelligence, the gap between Einstein and the average person is tiny compared to the potential gap between AGI and ASI. The implications are staggering. An ASI would be to us what we are to goldfish, except the gap would be far larger. It could solve problems we've struggled with for centuries in minutes. Aging, disease, climate change, all potentially solved. Or if we're not careful, it could decide we're not worth keeping around. This isn't science fiction. This isn't a distant future problem. This is happening now in labs around the world. The countdown has begun, and humanity's greatest challenge will be ensuring that when we create something smarter than ourselves, it shares our values and goals. Because make no mistake, artificial superintelligence will be humanity's final invention. After that, all future inventions will be made by AI. The question is, will we be around to see them? The future is racing toward us faster than we realize. The only question is, are we ready for what comes next?